Hey everybody, happy Easter again and welcome back to our noonday prayer service. Um, as usual, the service begins on page 103 of your Book of Common Prayer, an order of service for noonday. Let's pray. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Short reading from Psalm 126. When the Lord restored the fortunes of Zion, then we were like those who dream. Then was our mouth filled with laughter and our tongue with shouts of joy. Then they said among the nations, the Lord has done great things for them. The Lord has done great things for us, and we are glad indeed. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Well, our uh, reading today is from Deuteronomy, but as a reminder, last time I, I did this, I said that I'm going to focus on tools for endurance. Endurance, again, is um, a, a posture that I hope that we can um, settle ourselves into in a period that's really trying and confusing and strange. Um, and endurance is not something that just happens in our hearts. Um, but it's a spiritual disposition that we can develop and that we can seek out with the Lord's grace. So last week I focused on creating a posture of worship through looking to the beauty of the natural world. And this week I'm switching things up a little bit. I want to talk about having God's words in your own heart. So this is our reading from Deuteronomy. It's Deuteronomy 11 verse 18. You shall therefore lay up these words of mine in your heart and in your soul, and you shall bind them as a sign on your hand, and they shall be as frontlets between your eyes. You shall teach them to your children, talking of them when you are sitting in your house and when you are walking by the way, and when you lie down and when you rise. You shall write them on the doorposts of your house and on your gates, that your days and the days of your children may be multiplied in the land that the Lord swore to your fathers to give to them. Well, the, uh, the major thrust of this verse is, is clear enough. It's about remembering the words that God gave to Moses and um, the Israelites as they're in the desert. And if you're, you'll remember, this is, in Deuteronomy, Moses' last final speech to um, God's people right before they enter into the promised land. Deuteronomy, again, means second law. So it's about remembering what God has done and the words that he's given to them. And I think the powerful impetus for us here is that if we see, look, whenever we enter into somewhere new, whether it's the promised land, whether it's the desert of, Mount, of uh, the wilderness of Sinai, whatever it is, we need to have God's words in our heart and in our soul. And so what that means is straightforward. It means we have to memorize. We, we have to remember his words. And so my, my suggestion, very practical again, that's my hope for these. My suggestion for us this week is that as we head into sort of new and uncharted territory, we will need to have God's words in our minds and in our hearts and in our souls. We'll need to memorize them. So I am suggesting uh, that you memorize some of God's word. You memorize scripture. Now, I realize that we are in a culture where we don't really memorize a whole lot. In the time of the Bible, people would have memorized huge portions of scripture, whole books. We don't do that a whole lot anymore, um, which is regrettable, but we need to start small. So if you have any interest in memorizing scripture, I'd encourage you to memorize something small, one to two verses, um, I've been have writing things down on little note cards and leaving them around the house and in my car and such. Um, and if you are interested in doing that, I would encourage you um, to find scripture that means something uh, powerful to you. If you don't know what that is, actually in the Book of Common Prayer, there's a great resource. Um, is I described in a video sometime back on using the Book of Common Prayer. There are these things called canticles. Usually there are little short scripture readings between the actual readings of the, of the services. And those little uh, verses, those, were, those are often sung. But really they are just 
really they're simply verses that are valuable for you to memorize. They're kind of like the greatest hits. They're uh, scripture verses that help you make sense of other verses and that make sense of the world. They're often about Jesus and the gospel and God's promises. And you can find those in your Book of Common Prayer. They're on page 85. So if you just turn to 85, flip through, there are dozens of different ones, lots from Isaiah, lots um, from the Gospels, and they're wonderful. So you just pick one or two of those and even just a little segment of one of those. And I promise you, uh, you will um, not regret it. Whenever you have God's word in your heart, it's not just that it steadies you. It's not just that it encourages you, but it actually um, it repositions your heart to endure. So uh, that's my teaching for us today. Um, hope that makes sense. Uh, amen. Let's keep going with noonday prayer. Back to page 106. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let's pray using the words that, our, our, uh, that Jesus has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer, and let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Lord, we do pray for St. George's. We pray for this whole church, all of those who are lonely, or all of those who are struggling in isolation, all of those who are um, struggling with challenging circumstances at home. We ask that you would bless them today. You would comfort them, that you would help them to endure. Lord, I pray that uh, for those of us who are yearning to follow you, in a new time, uh, that you would encourage us with your word, with the scriptures. And you would give us the energy and um, the attention to gather some of those words into our heart, to hold on to those. We pray uh, the concluding collect. Almighty Savior, who at noonday called your servant, St. Paul, to be an apostle to the Gentiles, we pray you to illumine the world with the radiance of your glory that all nations may come and worship you, for you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Amen.